Hey Digi fans, welcome to DigiDom, the video series where I take you from digital zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's video, we're going to tell you all about the Little Inventors Daily Challenge. Now, this one is brilliant because it's all about uh, you coming up with your own weird and wacky inventions to some of Earth's greatest problems using Adobe Spark Page to bring them all together in this kind of like portfolio format. I think it's pretty cool. As always, if you're using a tablet or a phone, download Adobe Spark Page as an app. It's completely free. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, so here's today's tutorial on how to make a Little Inventors Daily Challenge portfolio. Enjoy. So here are the three Spark apps. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, just go to spark.adobe.com. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new page, give it a title, Little Inventors Daily Challenge. Okay. Great, now look for a photo. Now you can use any of these services here. You could just take a picture of yourself if you wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna to go to find free images. Now you could search for Inventor, for example. Got some good ones here. This one's pretty cool because it's actually, I think these are the Wright brothers who were the first people to make a plane that actually worked, I think. Is that even true? I can't even remember. It was a long time ago, before I was born. But anyway, uh, I'll also show you that sometimes you might think of some different words that you can search for, which might be a little bit more appropriate. Now, idea, for example, I like this one here, because sometimes you get a light bulb moment, don't you? So I'm gonna use that one. Okay, now scroll to start writing your story. And we're not writing a story, we're kind of writing a report, I guess. And here's my introduction. I've written it down already. Cool. Now, it doesn't always work that well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm doing the little, the, Give that a capital, get this one right. Great. Now I've said, oh, I, I forgot to put a full stop in here. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little button in because I wanna tell other people about this. Uh, and then I'll put little oh, inventors. I'll just put little inventors. I'll center that button and what it needs now is a URL. So I'm going to go, I've actually got it there already. Tap, hold, copy. Great. Go back to page, go in here, paste, done. Now if anybody else wants to have a go at this little challenge as well, they can visit my page and be taken straight through to the web page where all the challenges live. So. Time for me to show you some of my challenges. So I'm gonna to go to text here. I'm gonna to go to challenge one. Okay, gonna make it a header, the biggest header possible. I'm gonna center it, challenge one. Okay, nice, I like this one. Maybe I'll center that as well. Draw an, draw an invention to keep two people apart. Now, I've done that already. It's really easy to take photos using your iPad. It will go straight onto your camera roll, and then you can call that up into the app if you're using that. If you're on a laptop, well then you could actually use the webcam and then it will store straight onto your hard drive. Or if you're using a phone, take a couple of snaps and then email it to yourself or airdrop it to yourself, something like that. I've got my photo. I have to go back here, don't want to find free image. I've got it on my iPad. 
So I'm going to go to all photos and it's this one here. Great stuff. Now I can keep it like that if I want kind of in line. I can make it full width even. I think maybe I'll make it full width. Draw an invention to keep people apart. And here is my invention. It's called Le Boxing Belt. I was in quite a French mood. So I'm going to tell you exactly how it works by putting this text in underneath. full stop in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my punctuation's good. Oh, and that one. What I'm going to do is because it's kind of like a quote that I'm saying, a little bit of speech, sausage. I don't need to make that one capital. Okay, that looks good to me. I like that. Now you can change it. You could change it to a quote if you like. That's quite cool. Quite like that. My unboxing mode was by voice activation. Great. Now I'm going to add in my challenge two. So this is my challenge one. So there it is, the boxing belt. It's also a hat. I forgot to say that. Um, and that's my explanation because I always put the sketch and then the explanation. And then I'm going to put in my second challenge. Uh, put it in as a photo as well. And this is my second challenge. Uh, maybe I'll keep this one kind of in line. Why not? But what I've forgotten to do is put uh, a little title in here because this is challenge two. Center it. And challenge two was... <laughs> Great, and here's my magical door. And then I'm gonna put in some text afterwards. And this time it's gonna be, this is my explanation of what mine's all about. Nice. So here we go, we've got Challenge one, draw an invention to keep people apart. There's the boxing belt. And this is my explanation. Challenge two, imagine a secret door in your home that leads to a magical place. Now, I actually think it does. It looks better when it's full width. So I'm going to do full width there as well. My secret door is in my bathroom, blah, blah, blah. So when you add in more stuff here, you can you can try, try it with a glide show if you like. If your image is quite small, you could also do it as a split screen. Now, one of the things I will show you is, if I did a split screen here, you'll see that I'm missing a lot of my image here. I can change the focal point, um, but even when I do that, I'm still missing things off the end. So I, that's why I decided to, oh, you can switch off. I'm gonna delete that. Um, that's why I decided to go full width so you can see the entire thing all the time. So as you go, you know, do your daily challenges, you can add them in however you like, maybe through photo, try a glide show out, maybe a split layout if your drawing is quite small, and just keep them building up and up and up into your own portfolio. If you want to change your theme, you can just go in here. Maybe I'll try this one. What does this one look like? Oh, interesting. That's kind of nice. You can preview them to see what they really look like and you can scroll through and have a little look. Quite like that. And whenever you're ready, you can share it by creating a public link or turning that off an unlisted link, sending it out to people you know, message, email, social media, whatever you like. And whenever you really need it, you can go back in and you can just share again. It's exactly the same if you're, if you're using a laptop or a desktop at spark.adobe.com. 
I hope you enjoyed that video, Digi fans. Make sure you do keep up with the Little Inventors Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge on a daily basis. That would be good. Uh, put together all of your ideas and your uh, wacky inventions and sketches into your Adobe Spark page. Please do share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials because I love to see your work and give you a digital pat on the back and share it with a larger audience, see what everybody else has been doing as well. As always, to get these videos as soon as they come out, please do subscribe and I'll see you. Where am I going to see you? In the next video.